Hello and welcome to this short demo. In this demo, we are going to look at integration between OpenNMS and OTRS for incident management. So we will show integration between OpenNMS and OTRS ticket working. We'll also show some basic incident management logic. So for this demo, we are going to show the two basic tasks. One of them is how a new alarm in OpenNMS creates a corresponding incident ticket in OTRS. The second task we'll show is whenever the alarm clears in OpenNMS, the ticket in OTRS automatically closes. So <coughs> we're going to take one particular node. We're going to disable uh, one service and see what happens in OpenNMS. OpenNMS should create a alarm. Based on that alarm, OTRS will create a ticket automatically. Once the alarm clears in OpenNMS, the ticket in OTRS will also automatically close. So there are two components here. So we have OpenNMS and OTRS software. OpenNMS is going to be the master, which is driving this integration, and OTRS is going to be the slave. So let's look at the tools. In the lab, this is how we have set up OpenNMS. There are already a bunch of nodes which are being monitored. So if I look at the list of nodes, we have a list of nodes. This particular node is what is going to be of interest in this demo. Right now, this node, everything is working. There are no events or alarms. So all the basic checks are working, right? Now let's look at OTRS setup. This is the OTRS lab setup, which is going to work along with OpenNMS. There are no tickets at this point in time. And this is going to show new tickets based on what's happening in OpenNMS. So let's go back here. The first thing we're going to do is try to turn off one of the services. So for this, we are going to log into your machine. And within the machine, I'm trying to uh, stop the SSH daemon. So I'm going to use this command line and try to stop the daemon. This is SSH service. So <clears throat> the service is stopped and let's see what happens here. Automatically, OpenNMS should first show SSH as being down. So you see this red color change, which indicates that, okay, SSH has gone down. It shows up in the recent events panel. There's also outage, which it shows. And there's a number 1413. Now, if you look at the alarms page, here is the alarms and the number there is 1347. You see the details saying there is a SSH outage which is identified on this particular node. Click on this alarm and here you see some details, right? So this is standard page, but you also see a field called ticket state. This is where you see the information about the OTRS ticket. And also at the bottom, you see some new buttons for creating tickets or updating tickets. They're supposed to be used if you're doing any manual ticket creation, maybe by an OCT team, uh, but right now we don't need um, to do anything manual. We're just going to wait for the screen to update. So once the screen updates, you see there is a ticket ID and there's also a ticket state, which is called open. If I go to the OTRS dashboard and try to refresh the screen, I see something new, which is the SSH down, all right? So if I click on that ticket, ticket number 204 inside of OTRS says that there is a SSH outage, and this is the reason why there is a outage. This entire information is basically passed from this description page. So this description is essentially coming into your uh, conversations or notes or articles inside OTRS. Okay. Once this is created, you can configure OTRS to automatically go to a particular owner, have a particular queue, have a particular SLA, all of that can be done. But that is based on further configuration inside OTRS, what has been done. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we are also going to now see the alarm clearing. So I'm going to go back to my node and I'm going to start the 
service right so I'm going to restart this so the command there should be this one so this system is now restarting let's go and see what happens on the nodes page right so I'm going to go back to nodes and look at this particular node and now SSH is back to normal so this is showing in green so in the events page you see this event number 5501634 said that the SSH was down and then 634 said SSH is back to normal and recent outages you see that this is outage ID 1413 which lasted from 1322-1325 so this shows the details of the outage as well okay now what will happen to the alarm let's look at the alarms so you see looking at this alarm has gone back to normal there are no more alarms left right this is regained so I'm going to go back to alarms and look at all alarm summary alarms outstanding so this one 1347 is the latest alarm it says it's cleared you have to wait for the email or the alarm to be cleared <coughs> and come back to normal only when it comes back to normal you will see the ticket state return to normal as well so here there is the polling of the Horizon uh, OpenNMS tool involved so this is screen updates based on the polling interval and correspondingly the ticket here if I refresh you see now the ticket is automatically closed by OpenNMS okay so what has happened is the ticket was created automatically from OpenNMS when the alarm was triggered and when the alarm returned cleared and kind of returned back to normal the ticket was automatically cloned by OpenNMS this conversation text is something that can be configured uh, during the integration but now you see if I do a refresh on this page it says the ticket is closed right so automatically the ticket gets closed because this service came back to normal right and that's what even OTR is saying so the ticket is automatically closed and you can see when the ticket was created what the message was and then at what time the ticket was closed so this basically a very quick short demo on the integration there are many more things you can do with this integration you can build more complex workflows you can have logic for updating tickets through OpenNMS you can have further logic inside of o OTRS to do routing to support escalations to support uh, SLAs all of that can be done inside of OTRS but yeah essentially this is what we wanted to show in this demo so we at Altnix we provide a bunch of services around OpenNMS and OTRS you can take our help for consulting for customization implementations and also 24-7 uh, support so if you need any help do reach out to us and I hope this demo was useful for you thank you for time